For my project, the photographer that I decided to pick was Laura Lachinsky, who was born in 1962. She is a Canadian contemporary photographer, and she is best known for her still lifes. Lachinsky holds a BFA from the University of Manitoba, class of 1968. In 1991, she received her Master's of Fine Arts from Yale University. Laura is currently a professor of the visual arts at the University of Chicago. Laura wasn't always known, though, for her photography of still life. She only recently became known for her still life photography back in the 1990s for her series Venus Inferred. This series is really what made her such a well-renowned still life photographer because in this series that she has, it really displays her idealistic, more so how the media views relationships between a man and a woman through this visual representation. Laura's photographs chip away at normative expectations as depicted by mainstream culture. What I interpret from this photo is how the guy is looking at the girl, but yet the girl is looking away. So my main question is why? Or is it because there is an imbalance? So I really thought this photo was interesting because it really kind of shows the infabrication about the space of intimacy. The next photo that I will be analyzing is hardly more than ever which is a part of her series called I Did Not Remember I Had Forgotten, which was in the early 2000s. In this photograph, you can see how there's a bunch of dirty dishes by the windowsill, and the real importance about this photo is not so much about why the dirty dishes are there, but it really gives insight into the fact that people were once there. So somehow in this photo, you can really justify the personification without even using human figures. This idea of how you're able to personify an image without actually using human figures or any real objects to give human figurations to, this is why Laura became such a famous still life photographer. The third and final photo that I'll be analyzing for today is Untitled Number 8 from her Somewhere Somewhere series from 2004. Again, referring to how she's able to really personify an image without using figures is a really good example through this photo. For example, it's an empty room that's very barren and beige, and in the second room that you can just barely see, it's painted baby blue and there's spackle all over the wall. So the question is, who lived here before? Why did they leave, or are they coming in to stay? You really don't know, but you're able to kind of get this melancholy feel as if someone has maybe left. Maybe they have a new beginning, or this is the end of a chapter that has just come to an end. Overall, I believe that Laura Latinsky's photos are very unique in the way that they're almost poetic of how you're able to really personify without using a physical human figure to still give an overlaying melancholy tone to each and every photo. 